now we want to talk about iteration. Uh, iteration in uh, the text is a uh, little bit uh, different. Um, the easiest thing to do is uh, use a for loop. Um, how to do that? Uh, we use a package called PGF4. And there's a more ways, but uh, PGF4 I think is the most simplest you can do. So what you will be doing is a uh, say for loop is a repeat doing the same thing, and for each, say for example, for each person in a set of stuff, a group of stuff, say Peter, John, and Mary, and you repeat by saying Peter is an apple. That's new paragraph. John is an apple. Mary is an apple. So if there's something repeat along the line, then you can uh, sing this for loop and keep going on and on and on. And you can also do the math, say like this. Uh, for each n in one comma dot 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 ten is you don't need to write run up to ten, then dot dot, dot is uh understand is to ten, so we one two three four five up to ten. So this is how for each loop is uh, very useful. So let's see. Um, so we have a for each loop, um, and then you you package uh, EGF four. Remember the package must be for the begin document and document, and then we for each person uh, in Peter, John, and Mary. Uh, this is good. You do that instead of pa, then you will on the same line. So let's put. Paragraph. Then when you uh, have this, then you have a new line. Uh, and here we for each n in up to ten. Then we have a slash n ten plus, and this is what the result is. And um, then to note that here I have a still a plus here, so I have eleven. Uh, then we will be complete. All right, but looks much. Uh, Space then looks much more nicer. Um, so uh, that's how you use the for loop. There are many uh, interesting ways to use it, but uh, it's a basic thing enough, uh, carry you far enough for the most purpose. Okay, thank you for listening to the for loop uh, text.